<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Donahue Fields, and I'm fighting for adaptive boxing. Let it be known, one day we will be in the Paralympics. So what are some misconceptions people have about adaptive sports? Maybe we're slow, but we're, we're soft. <laughs> Eat those. It's easy. And you're changing those stereotypes when you're out there. Absolutely. We are. There's more than just me. It only takes one punch to move forward. Okay, so you can't step into a punch. And if you add too much force, your chair actually moves. So if you're throwing a left, uh, knowing how your chair moves or how far you can turn, uh, you have to angle your chair. I feel like you could uh, knock me out in two seconds flat. I can't. Uh, I don't want to hurt nobody. <laughs> was coming from the store one day, minding my business. Uh, one guy started shooting. Next thing I woke up in the hospital, doctor telling me I'll never walk again. A year later, my dog gets shot and killed in front of me. That broke me. I was ready to go. Life, I'm done. Thank you. It was nice. And I, I had a lot of pity for myself. But there was another part of me that was like, I'm better than this. I had to persevere. And that's hard. But then that's where uh, adaptive boxing came along. I went from 267 pounds to 190. Jeez. I decided, you know what? How about I teach people like myself? So that way, if they say, oh, I can't do that, well, yes, you can because I do it. Maybe we can't run and jump like you, but playing a whole new sport in a different aspect is, you know, it, it requires a whole different uh, training, uh, use of body functions and things like that. And you're changing those stereotypes when you're out there. Absolutely. We are. There's more than just me. And how is your wheelchair incorporated into the boxing? Okay, so we can't actually step, okay? So we can't step into a punch. And if you add too much force, your chair actually moves. It's common logic, you're on wheels, right? So if you're throwing a left, uh, knowing how your chair moves or how far you can turn, uh, you have to angle your chair. Let's say you're in a close quarter but battle, right? You guys are scrapping. Um, how do you get out of that? You can't step back and protect yourself. You have to put your hands down and move your chair. That means you're, you're vulnerable. So there's ways about going about that I don't want to go into. You know, only my guys know that. Your tactics. Right, only my guys know that. But yeah, so there's methods to uh, getting in and out of situations like that. He's very strong. Yeah. His core is tremendous. If you saw how many times he was able to bounce and move. I feel like you could uh, knock me out in two seconds flat. Oh, I can't, uh, I don't want to hit nobody. <laughs> Donnie Hugh, tell me your story. Okay, uh, born in Harlem, St. Louis Hospital. I uh, lived in the Bronx for a good bit of my childhood, moved to Georgia, gained some culture, different perspective on life, you know. Came back to New York, about 16 years old. Was coming from the store one day, minding my business, and a group of guys started fighting. And next you know, uh, one guy started shooting. I ran, I, thought I tried to get back up, but my legs wouldn't move, I, I was shot. Next thing you know, I woke up in the hospital, doctors telling me I'll never walk again. A year later, walk on my dog, uh, my dog gets shot and killed in front of me. That broke me. I was ready to go. I was ready to cut the check. You know, life, I'm done. Thank you. It was nice. Uh, that was my best friend. Yeah, so I attempted suicide. I, I don't say it too often, but yeah, it just it was dark for a while. You know, I expected things should be given to me now because I'm not whole anymore. I should be taken care of, you know. But there was another part of me that <laughs> was like, I'm better than this. You know, I can do more. Where, where God was taking me, where he wanted me to go, it required change. But then that's where uh, adaptive boxing came along. With uh, Hugo Harris here at Axis, and I, I, it was amazing. And I, didn't, I never thought I could do that again. I went from 267 pounds to 190. Jeez. Yes, I uh, changed the way I ate. I felt good about myself. I'm, the process is still going, I'm not there. Get the elbow up more on the hook. Okay. Because you're kind of like this, get it up. And that gives you yeah. defense here too. All right, so here's the stigma that people have that are not disabled, right? They'll come and tell you, oh, you're gonna walk again. You can do it. Oh, God is gonna bring you up, you know? And if I don't do the work myself, it's never gonna happen. It doesn't just happen like that. One, two, one, two, three. Again. And they can't tell me what I can do unless they've been in my situation and they've done it themselves. All right, so posture is not good right there. You definitely want to sit up more. There we go. I can't tell you how to climb a mountain or scale a building if I never did it before. So with the adaptive boxing, I decided, you know what? How about I teach people like myself? So that way, if they say, oh, I can't do that, well, yes, you can because I do it. You got a seatbelt? Nah. All right, you definitely need a seatbelt. You cannot box without a seatbelt. Nah, 
about falling out. Yeah, we're about falling, and you also, you become one with the chair, you see? Fear is a big issue in our community. Uh, a lot of us don't even leave the house as much as we want to, or go to certain events, or uh, avoid confrontation, or just not speaking up for ourselves, you know, in certain situations, because we fear where it may go. So when you throw your punch, oh, okay. what you want is to engage your lower back on this side and your core on this side. So you're pulling and pushing. And that, that's a sad existence. You locked, you locked in the gate, a gate of your own fear. That gate. No one's doing that to you but you. This is what you're doing. You're leaning and you're doing that. It's a compensation thing. We all, you know, we all do that with spinal cord injuries. But it's up to you. Like, you, if you be consistent, you can do this, bro. I'm telling you, I'm swaying you. I just want people to be free. I feel free now. I feel great. I feel secure. Um, I want people to feel that. You know, I want people to live, not exist. I want you to live. So that's why I do it. Get it. Get it.